Here are some pieces of iron pyrite or fool's gold that I found along a river in central Iowa. You can see here it's got this uh, nice yellow glittery color to it. That's how it got the name of fool's gold. It's actually iron with two sulfur atoms. Um, so the idea is I'm going to crush it up and then put it in this iron pipe back here, heat it up to red hot, and one of those sulfur atoms should be released by the heat and it will go up this pipe. I'll have it sealed on with clay and then this bottle will be sealed up too. But the uh, elemental sulfur should condense in there. So I don't know if this will work. I saw it in an old chemistry book that I have so I'll give it a shot. I ran that weed burner with charcoal for about an hour and then I stopped seeing sulfur fumes. So let's open this up and see what we got. It's kind of hard to see. It looks like we got something though. Try to scrape it out. I've been trying to scrape this sulfur out of the bottle. The problem is it really wants to stick to these unglazed parts. This right here was just the biggest piece I was able to get out. It's not super clean. I think I'm going to try to dissolve it in xylene or paint thinner. Try to purify it a little bit. You can see it's still flexible. It's still, it's still kind of warm. Um, I'm going to redo this except instead of using this ceramic bottle, I'm gonna to try to use a glass bottle. I think it'd be a lot easier to clean out. So I'm gonna try that. Okay, so it's been a few days and I used a glass jar the last time I tried this. It was about exactly the same as using that ceramic bottle, except whenever I went to clean it out, it was a lot easier to get, get it out in uh, big pieces and it wasn't so dirty looking. So here on the right, is some that I uh, recrystallized. I just put the uh, sulfur that I got out of the bottle into uh, xylene. I bought it at Menards. It was sold as paint thinner and heated it up on a hot plate and then let it cool and it recrystallized in these nice sulfur crystals. You can see it looks pretty pure there. Over here on the left is some that was not recrystallized. That's just scrapings from the side of the uh, bottle. And then right here is the original iron pyrite, the rock I started with. So went from that rock to elemental sulfur.